recently read a very empowering book titled The War of Art by Stephen Pressfield. In fact, I would have to say it's one of the most impacting books I've read in years. You need to get it. It's short, worth the read. Stephen has a unique awareness and understanding why we as humans have a chronic underlying unease that leads to stress in our daily lives. He sums this up as resistance and defines this as self-sabotage. He seems to have stumbled onto an all too apparent truth about our nature that none of us are immune to. And as you think about your day and all the tasks you have in front of you, you'll most likely experience some of this inner tension or emotional fret. Well, why? Well, according to Stephen, you're experiencing this tension, fear or anxiety, because you're not taking care of what you should be. And because of this, you have left important things to be done in exchange for urgent, less important things that are easier to accomplish than what you really should be doing. He quotes, I'm keenly aware of the principle of priority, which states, A, you must know the difference between what is urgent, what is important, and B, you must do what's important first. So why do we put off what's really important? Well, let me quote him again, as I would only do a disservice in trying to explain this. So he quotes, in other words, any act that rejects immediate gratification in favor of long-term growth, health, integrity, or expressed another way, any act that derives from our high nature instead of our lower, any of these will elicit resistance. It seems we have the destructive nature to place short-term gratification ahead of long-term benefits and we'll find just about every justification for this behavior. This resistance is the enemy within and if you cave into it, it'll leave you with a constant inner turmoil, destroy your confidence and steal away your dreams. You know, at the time I read this, I was having this inner unease and just couldn't figure it out. All is great in my life, loving wife, healthy, respectful children, passion about my purpose, I'm super healthy, so why the unease? I immediately understood what Stephen was trying to communicate and asked myself, what do I have on my plate that needs to be taken off? Oh, I, I got it. I had a couple of projects that I was unconsciously putting off because I believed it was going to take a lot of effort, brain capacity, and time. Besides, I was very busy traveling and speaking around the country. How could I get all this done, right? You know how the stories go ourselves, all right. I put the book down. I told my wife I needed to put some plans off for the day. It was Saturday during the, the holiday break, and I headed to the office to complete my responsibilities. After five hours of focused work, my job was completed, at least the transcript for the project, which I needed to do. I enjoyed myself, noted it was really wasn't that difficult, and I felt really good about it. That inner unease that Stephen defines as resistance is gone. Well, we all have things on our plate we know that need to be done, but continue to find justification for putting these responsibilities aside. You're only hurting yourself, your progress, your self-confidence. Resistance will tell you anything to keep you from doing your work. <laughs> Another quote from the author. I've been searching for more ways to control my thoughts and emotions, and I'm quite excited to have found a surefire way to hold onto my inner joy and peace. It really is as simple as getting stuff done. Feeling unease, anxious? Good. It means you need to dive in and get important tasks accomplished. Test me on this. To me, it takes away the confusion, the mystery, and puts me in the driver's seat. I like that. So in summary, get the book.